I don't know if anybody read uh, Andre Agassi's book, but it's a, a remarkable book about somebody who was at the top of his game, was number one in the world, and had a secret, which was that he hated tennis. <laughs> it's a remarkable book. It's called Open, and, and I suggest anybody get a chance to read it. But what's interesting about reading that book, and particularly for me, is I saw so many parallels to the ritual, the life, the hotel rooms, the travel, the being around people that you only have just met, suddenly having a new family, suddenly being on a new film set, suddenly going somewhere else. There is a, there is a nomadic part of the life of an actor that, that absolutely reminded me of the life of a tennis player. And it's a, so it's a, there's a lonely part of it. With respect to how people respond to meeting you or seeing you or recognizing you, is it can be any number of different kinds of ways. Um, generally, if someone runs up to you because the, their first instinct when they see you is to pull their phone out and to take a selfie with you while you're standing at the urinal, you think to yourself... <laughs> Sorry about that. It's that was really my not, fault. <laughs> it's really not right. Um, <clears throat> But people sort of, there's a kind of panic that happens because they think it's their only chance. But actually what's, what's more interesting and, and where I'm able to have genuine conversations is when I just meet people and they give me shit like anybody does. Uh, but once somebody says, you're my favorite actor and I love every movie I've ever done, and, uh, I'm really sorry, this is really awkward, I hate doing this. You're like, yeah, okay. There's kind of nowhere to go after that. <laughs> There's no way I'm going to live up to what you expect yeah, of me I, right now. But also, I think there's, a, there's an interesting thing, too, which is that, is that I always feel a little bit like I'm at a disadvantage because people think they know me, and so they treat me like an old friend, like an old pal. Johnny Carson said it once that he had flown to do a, a, a stand-up routine, I think, in, in Texas, maybe flew into Dallas, and like 500 people showed up at the airport to greet him. And he said, and this is true, I don't make this up. He said it was, it was a very odd circumstance because 500 people were patting me on the back, shaking my hand, treating me like an old friend, and I didn't know who the fuck any of those people were. 